So I'm going to be doing question one from the 2000 AP Calculus test. And this question says, let R be the shaded region in the first quadrant enclosed by the graphs of y equals e to the negative x squared and y equals 1 minus cosine x in the y-axis as shown on the figure above. So they already graphed it for us. Um, part A asks us to find the area of region R. So we know that when you're finding the area that the function for finding that is the integral from A to B of the top function minus the bottom function. Let's go ahead and put these equations into our calculator so that we can have the graph for ourselves and find our limits. So y1 will be e to the x to the negative x squared and y2 will be 1 minus cosine x. Let's see the graph. So once it finishes graphing, we're going to use um, the calculation function on the calculator to find the points of intersection so that we can find the upper limit because we can see clearly that the lower limit is at zero and because it says it's bound by the y-axis, so we know that it is going to be zero. So let's go ahead and write that down. We just need to find b. Let's zoom in because this is kind of small section that we're looking at and that's too big to see what we're really working with. We also know by looking at the graph that they gave us that the top function is going to be e to the negative x squared and the bottom function will be 1 minus cosine x. I might have to re-graph my lines because this doesn't seem to be working. So since the graph is pretty small, if we use zoom fit, we can get it so that you can actually see what's happening, which is what I have here. So now let's use the calculation function to find the intersection of the two graphs in order to find the upper limit. So second, trace and intersect. Select your first curve and then your second curve. And now it gives us that our x, <coughs> our x value where they intersect is 0 0.942. So that will be our upper limit. So let's go ahead and <coughs> use math 9 in order to find the value of this and give us area. So the lower limit is 0, upper limit is 0.942. And we have y1 minus y2. And this gives us a value of the area to be 0 0.591 units squared. OK, part b asks us to find the volume of the solid generated when the region R is revolved around the x-axis. So by looking at the graph, we can tell that there's going to be a hole in the middle, so we're going to, be have, we're going to have to use the disk method, which the formula for that is the volume is equal to pi times integral of the lower limit to the upper limit of R squared minus little r squared dx. And we know that big R is equal to the top function minus the bottom function. And little r is equal to top function minus bottom function. So let's find what big R will be. Let's take a look at the graph. And we can see that the top function is um, y1, which is e to the negative x squared. So r will equal 
e to the negative x squared minus 0, since it's revolving around the x-axis. And little r is going to be the function 1 minus cosine x minus 0. So we can go ahead and plug these values back into the equation. So v equals pi times, and our limits are going to be the same since we're still working um, left from top to bottom, not left to right. So it will be from 0 to 0.942. And we see that big R is e to the negative x squared. That value is all squared minus little r squared dx and let's go ahead and plug that into the calculator using math 9 and see what the value for this is <clears throat> and when we plug this into the calculator we end up with volume equaling 1.747 units squared, or units cubed. And don't forget to multiply, once you put this into the calculator, to multiply it by pi, because that's a tricky, sometimes you miss that, but it's really important that you also multiply it by pi. So that's our final answer for part B. And on to part C. Part C says the region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross section perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. Find the volume of this solid. So <clears throat> we know that finding the volume of a cross section that's a square is going to have the equation volume is equal to the integral from the lower function to the upper function of the base squared dx. And we know that the base is going to be equal to the top function minus the bottom function. And by looking at the graph, we can see that the top is again e to the negative x squared. So b is going to be e negative x squared. And the bottom function will be 1 minus cosine x. So we can plug this back in. And again, the limits are going to be the same as in part a and b. So v is equal to the integral from 0 to 0.942 of x to the, or e, e to the negative x squared minus 1 minus cosine x. All of this will be squared dx. And again, we'll use math 9 to find the value of this. Don't forget to put your parentheses in, otherwise you won't end up with the right value, which is a pretty simple mistake, but it will give you a completely wrong answer. Okay, so this tells us that the volume is equal to 0.461 units cubed, which is the final answer for part C of this question, and that's how you solve the question one from 2000 AP calculus test.